So, situation. Your boss just sends you an email with 10 PDF files and asks you to please extract some names, some addresses, some emails, etc. You open the first PDF file and it's 10 pages long. You open the second and it's 15. Just the thought of you having to do all of these PDF files makes you sick to your stomach. And the biggest problem is that it's scanned documents, but it also different templates. So there is not just one template that you can just read or create a process that will extract data for you, right? Wrong. Today we're gonna to see how in 10 minutes, we're gonna create a process that will read any scanned document, whatever the document is, it could be a rental agreement, it could be an employment contract, it could be any type of document. It will read it, understands it, and then you can ask any questions and then it will answer for you. And here, I just wanna have a side note before jumping into the tutorial. AI have changed so many things. And just six years ago, when I started my career as a junior data engineer, this type of project would have taken me weeks, if not months. And I could only create it for one specific document. Today, I can create a process in like fair five to 10 minutes that will read any type of unstructured data and it would extract the data out of it, which is something that is really, really freaking scary. So if you're not just aware of AI, if you're not really kind of, you know, just following the trend, you should. And this is why you just watch this video until the end, just to be aware. Even if you're not going to create this process, just try to be aware of what's going on because someone with less experience can do your job more effectively in less time if they can use AI correctly. Okay, let's put the side notes aside and let's jump to the tutorial. Okay, so first thing we're gonna start with before uh, opening UiPath and starting to create the robot, we are going to see the documents on which we are going to do the extraction. The first one is an employment agreement and it's not searchable. So we can search for anything. We're not gonna find it. It's a picture in form of PDF. So it is a scanned document. And here we wanna extract things like the name of the, 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 the employee, the, uh, the, the, the salary, the position, uh, the benefits, etc., etc. The second document is going to be a rental agreement. Uh, and here is the same thing. It's a scan documents. And we want to extract things like who's going to be the occupants of the property or the leases or the, the lesser or uh, the, the, the rent, the, the security deposit, etc., etc. Basically, every information that we have here. So let's close this up and let's open new iPad Studio. Here, we are going to create a, a new process. Let's call it extract unstructured data. Let's click on create. Open main workflow. So here, before starting the project, let's go to manage packages because we will need some packages. The first one is intelligence OCR. So UiPath.IntelligenceOCR.Activities. And the second one is internal labs.gpt. Internal labs.gpt.Activities. Let's install this as well. And now let's click on save so that UiPath saved the two packages we just installed. Good. Now we can start creating our process. Let's go to activities and here let's go and search for browser file. This is the first activity that will give us a window browser and we are going to choose the, the file uh, that we are going to extract the data from. So let's choose PDF file since it's going to be a PDF file and here let's create a variable and let's call it selected file. Let's keep it as string. Good. And now we're going to go back here and we're going to choose this variable to put it in here. Select it fine. The second activity is going to be input dialog. And what this activity is going to do is basically prompt us with a, a little window just so that we can ask our question. So here we are going to add question, simple as the title. And then inside here, we're going to just prompt, please ask your question and then the text that will be provided by the, the user is going to be stored 
let's call it in question. Let's keep it as string and let's go back here and let's put it question. Let's put it the variable that we have just created in here. Now we get to the third activity. It's going to be digitized. This activity is the activity responsible of taking the scan documents from a picture format and read this for us using an OCR engine. So we're going to have a document path, which is the selected file that we had earlier. And then it will read it. And then it will give us an output, which is uh, a document text that just creates a new variable, call it document test, document text. Let's keep it as string and let's place it in here, document text. Now this variable, uh, now this activity uses an OCR engine. Let's go to properties. This activity uses an OCR engine with an API key. If you can't find the API key already in the value, what we need, what you need to do is go to cloud.uipad.com and then from here, go to admin, go to licenses, robust and services, and then you're going to find it in here and you can copy it. And then you can come back here and you can paste it. So this is if you don't find it uh, in the in the newer versions of UI Bet, you will find it already in the value. Now what we need to do is append append item to list. So basically, we are going to add the question that we already had to a question list that we will provide to an activity later. So here. The collection will be a, a variable that we are going to create. It's called question list. We're going to go for to browse for type. And then we are going to search for generic dot list. We're going to choose this. And then from here, we're going to choose a string. Let's click on OK. Now we are going to put the question list. We have just created in here the collection. And then the item that we will add is basically the question that we already have in here in the input dialog so item and here we are going to add question that we already had so the question will be added to question list and now we can go ahead and use the activity the magical one ask gpt and in this activity we will provide a text so the extracted text and we will provide a, you know, a list of questions so it will search in the text and it will try to understand it. And then it will take the question list and it will try to just, you know, read the whole text, understand it and give us an answers depending on the questions that we have provided. So in the text, we will have the document text. And in the question list, we are going to give it the question list that we just, that we just created, sorry. Question list. And we have to transform it into an array because this attribute accepts an array. Here we are going to go to output and response list and we need to get the response from it. So let's let's go here and click on control K, hold the control and click on K to set the variable. And now we are going to create a response list. Variable and this response list is going to contain the responses and the answers that we want. Now, before showing the answers that we have just uh, received from Ask GPT, we still need to go to variables and go under question list in default and initialize our initialize our lists. Otherwise, it will not work. Lists, path, string, and then parentheses. So we need to add this in here, otherwise we will have an error. So we have just added it. This is the syntax, good. All we need to do now is go to search and let's look for a message box and put it in here. And then from this message box, we want to show the answers that we got. So basically we will have one question and we will, ha we will have one answer. So here, let's go and open this up. And we have a response list. We're going to choose the first element from this response list. Sorry, I didn't show actually the, the type of this response list. It's a, a list of dictionaries. So 
right? if we have like multiple questions, we have multiple answers. But since we only gonna give one uh, question, we will have one answer. This is why we choose the first element. So zero index, so zero. And then from this first element, we have a dictionary, which is a key value pair. And the key that we are going to use is answer. And then this answer is just going to write it as a string to string. And here for presentation purposes, let's add a string and let's say answer is. And then we will have the answer. So this is the syntax. Let's click on save. Okay, so now that we're done, this process with a couple of activities that we have here should be able to take any unstructured documents, PDF documents, and then transform it from a scanned document to a readable, and then base answers for any question that we give it. So uh, yeah, let's debug the process. Click on debug. The first thing that's gonna happen is this prompt. It's gonna tell us to choose the documents uh, in which we wanna do the extraction. We're going to say employment contracts. It's going to tell me, please ask your question. Uh, let's start with something simple. Who is the employee? We're going to search in a, in a really simple manner. Who is the employee? Now it's reading in the background. It doesn't need to open up the, the PDF file. It will read it in the background. It will do the OCR reading. And then it will ask the question against the text that we have in the in the documents. Good. So now we already have an answer. Let's open the documents and see if this is actually accurate. Employment agreement is expected to generate by between this person and this company. So it did recognize that this is the person and this is the company. And yeah, so first test is okay. Great. Until now, let's run it again and ask something else. Debug again. Employment contract. Let's say, what is the salary? What is the salary? Good. Look at that. We have a really long answer. Let's see if it has uh, detected the right answer. The base salary for the first 12 months, the first year is 175. The base salary for the second year, it's 195. And the base salary for the 12th year, uh, for the third year, is 215. Let's just check if this is true because there are like three salaries. So let's go here and look at the salary clause. Good. The company pay for this 12 years, 175. So we have a lot of other texts, but then we find here. Uh, then the company shall pay the executive as compensation service, 12 cents per employment, 195. So as you can see, we have multiple salaries. And even though that we have multiple salaries, we had detected that there are multiple numbers. So instead of giving us just one number, it went to this whole place and extracted only the relevant information for our question. It's, it's a really smart and impressive activity that you are best have created. It's really impressive sometimes. The answers can be complicated even for a human being, but here you can see that it has it has like it has passed the test in flying colors. So let's go back here, let's click on OK, and let's ask it one last question before going to the second document. Now it's gonna be a composed question. Let's say, for example, we're not gonna ask about who is the employee or, or what is the salary. Let's ask where is the company located so it has to know the company and it has to know its location and it should give us only the location so let's say where is the company located meanwhile let's search for the company and this employment where this is king and california corporation so the answer should be california and lo and behold the answer is california so I mean, it's it's really impressive once you see these how easy it is to implement these uh, these processes these days. Good. So uh, now let's go and run on the second document. It's gonna be the rental agreement. Let's ask it something like uh, who occupants 
of the property. I could ask it something like uh, who is the lessee or who is the lesser, but let's just ask in a normal formulation that is that everyone can ask it. And let's click on OK and see how it's going to do in this uh, in this type of uh, of uh, of circumstances. Let's open the documents just to see the answer for ourselves before it reads the documents and give us the answer. So it already gave us the answer. Let's check if this answer is true. So here we don't have. Oh yeah, I recommend approval for an initial release with Gary and Nancy Thompson. So here we have Gary and Nancy Thompson. Let's check if there's any other information about them just to confirm this lease agreement between this, the landlord and the tenants. So it recognized the occupants are tenants and then it gave us the answer. So it's, it's really impressive. Gary and Nancy Thompson, let's ask it something like, uh, the last question, let's ask you something like, uh, what is the uh, the security deposit, for example? How much is, how much is security deposit? $650. Let's check if this is true. Rent, so the rent the amount of five hundred dollars, and then let's look for the security. Dep it's not even easy for us to just look for it. So it takes more time. Five hundred, which shall be paid to the landlord. The rent is checked. As you can see, it's taken me time to find the security deposit. Okay, security deposit. Tenants shall deposit with the landlord a sum of six hundred and fifty dollars. So exactly the answer. Let's click on OK. I wanna cut the video short, but let's do one last thing. Let's ask it two questions in the same question and see what's gonna happen. Let's ask it something like uh, what is the rent and what is the security deposit or how much is the security deposit? Let's ask it at the same question and see if it's going to be able to answer for us. So how much is the rent and the security deposit? Great, so the rent is $500 per month and the security deposit is $650. It's, it's really good. Let's click on OK. And that's basically it. We have just created the process. So any unstructured data, reads it from a scan document and ask anything about the documents and this process will give us the answer. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to be updated and everything that I will be uh, launching. And yeah, see you guys on the next one. Ciao.